This rare machine is the Conto Model C. It was made in Switzerland in the 1920s and 30s. And yeah, it's uh, it's made of brass with uh, black paint. As you can see over here, it's uh, been rubbed off from from use. And it's a beautiful machine. It's simply an adder. The way it works is you enter a number by twisting the dials. The number you entered can be seen in the register at the bottom here, in the input register. And to then add this number to the main register at the top, you pull this lever with the crescent-shaped handle to the right and then back to the left. It automatically carries, so this 7 will carry over to the uh, next uh, digit. And you can see that right here. But when you return the lever, the dials are reset. To clear the total, it's uh, simply pulling this lever. And that's really all there is. It's very heavy, and uh, yeah, I was not able to open it. The paper that comes with it uh, says that uh, you actually can't take out the uh, mechanism because there's a, a seal on the screw on the bottom. Well, indeed there is. On the base of this machine uh, somebody's put some felt, but there's this little uh, hole here. And you can just about see that there's a, a paper seal, kind of a postage stamp, over a screw there. You can make out uh, a logo, a C and an L. And uh, yeah, that logo is for Carl uh, Landolt. He used to make this machine. It was the, the Conto was first invented in around 1905 by Karl Karasek and Johannes Almund. And they patented it in 1905 and 6 and started producing it. Uh, in around 1910 production was taken over by uh, Karl Landolt and he improved uh, the Conto slightly, bringing out a Model B and a few years later, possibly in around 1914, came the Model C. When Karl Landolt died in 1923, uh, Alfred Müller uh, took over and he produced the last few uh, contos, of which this is one. Apparently he was still making them in 1932, but uh, it's hard to tell how many he made. It's probably uh, the case that uh, Landolt made many more than Alfred Müller. The text here, it says, Conto Model C, Alfred Müller, Feinmechanische Werkstätte, Talwil Zürich, Karl Landolt's Nachfolger patent. So he's Karl Landolt's successor. As I said, I wasn't really able to fully open the machine. I did try. I tried uh, removing the screws, the eight screws in the top plate. But of course the plate can't be fully removed because of these uh, dial pointers. But I was able to get in there to, to lubricate it a bit. But I wouldn't recommend it because beneath these screws are these little uh, uh, spacer tubes uh, around the screws. And as soon as you remove the, uh, the screws, they, uh, those spacer tubes get uh, loose and can't easily be put back into place. So don't do what I did. Anyway, this is the Conto C, 
Thank you for watching.